I'm tired of how entitled my brother is. He's mad that I won't financially support him or live together with him. It's not my responsibility. My 35M brother, 34M, is going to be divorced soon and he needs to find a new place to live. He says that since I'm also looking for a new place to live, we should find a place together. I don't want to and now he's mad and won't let it go. He met his wife in 2012 and they got married in 2015. His wife is a dentist. She is in the military. They got married after she graduated dental school and completed her basic and other military training. Ever since they got married they have only lived on military bases either here or overseas. She is currently stationed here, domestically. Once the divorce becomes final my brother won't be able to live on the base. I think he said he has 30 days to leave the base once he's divorced. I'm looking for a new place to live too. I qualify for public service loan forgiveness. I have been a public defender since I graduated from law school. My student loans were my only debt. Now that my loans were forgiven and I don't have to worry about monthly loan payments every month, not only can I afford to start saving for a down payment, I can afford to find a place to live alone. I've lived with roommates since I went to college 17 years ago. Since my current lease ending coincides with my brother having to leave the base he wants to move to my state so we can live together. Not for us to split bills and expenses, he wants me to help him financially for an undetermined period of time. My brother has a B.A. in anthropology and job experience working at Subway while he was in college and as a retail manager for three years from after he graduated until he got married. He doesn't have any recent work experience because he told me it was difficult to find a job having to always move for his wife's military assignments. I've offered to look his resume over but he says living together and me helping him would help more. Since they always lived on base the only assets that were divided were two vehicles and a bank account. My brother won't get any support payments because he had an affair. Both their home state where she enlisted slash they got married and the state they are stationed in forbid support payments to a spouse who had an affair. The division of the assets was also less than an equal split because of it. Almost all the money my brother did get went towards his own legal costs. I had a former classmate who works in family law recommend an attorney for my brother. I gave him a bit of money to help with the costs. I said I would look over his resume and assist him with job searching, but I don't want to live with him or financially support him. I don't think it's my responsibility and I don't think it's wrong that I want to live alone or don't want to delay starting to save for a down payment. I couldn't do either of those things if I took in my brother or financially supported him. The state I live in also has a higher cost of living compared to both the state he lives in now or his home state where he met her and got married. I think my brother would have an easier time there. I just feel like he's acting entitled because he's an adult who has no physical or mental conditions that mean he can't work. Our parents are both deceased and our only other relatives are our aunt and our cousin and they both told him the same thing as me. I don't see why this is my responsibility and I think what I've done slash offered him is already above and beyond what I had to do. I just needed to vent since he's directing his anger at me and being childish. 